Hi, this is Lena Rao with TechCrunch TV, and we're here with Brian Spaley, CEO of Trunk Club, an awesome new startup that caters towards men's shopping habits. Um, Brian, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You know, I first wrote about Trunk Club uh, a few months ago and got such an overwhelming response from so many men um, and readers that, that just love the model. And uh, why don't you share exactly what Trunk Club does? Sure. So at its heart, Trunk Club is a way for guys to get awesome clothes without having to deal with the hassle of shopping, either in the malls or in stores or even just going online. Um, we try to take all of the hassle out of it and make it really easy for you to look great. So how does that actually work? Uh, most of our customers sign up on the internet on our website, they're assigned to a personal stylist at Trunk Club headquarters in Chicago, and he or she will work with them to figure out what their needs are, what they'd like to get out of the process. You know, it could be as simple as, hey, I need better jeans and shirts to wear to work. It could be more complicated, like I need a you know, belt, shoes, blazer for this specific event. But in any case, uh, we learn as much as we can about what a guy needs, and then we put together an awesome um, set of clothes we pack it up in a trunk and we send it out and we pay for shipping in both directions and all the guy has to do is, is pay for the clothes that he keeps. So it's really sort of a zero risk way for guys to make an attempt at upgrading their wardrobe and having a style expert uh, with them every step of the way. So Brian, basically you're, you're solving a couple different problems here. First, um, you know, men, particularly my husband, have you know, a particular dislike, some men, to going to the mall and the whole sort of shopping experience, sifting through racks, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and, and then second, you're also bringing a personal stylist, which a lot of men may not be able to afford or know how to access um, to sort of their war wardrobe. And so, you know, these are, these are two things that are really sort of new to not only, um, you know, men, but also to um, the online space. I'm just wondering, what's been the response so far since you enacted this model a year ago? Well, Lena, you, you said it. I mean, you got a lot of response in your first article about uh, Trunk Club on TechCrunch, and we, we were lucky to get a lot of response um, from those same folks signed up for our service, and we hope that most of them have had a really good experience. And they're spending a lot of money with us, and they're spending a lot of time with us. Um, and I think, I think what we're finding is... We're just able to do a better, guy, a better job catering to a guy's needs. We, we all like looking great, but very few of us know how to make that happen and enjoy the process of the hunt. Now, I'm okay. sure we all have a buddy or two who's like great at finding super deals on sale or you know, really knows how to bargain shop. But for most of us, we don't even really necessarily know what we're looking for. But once we find it and put it on and feel great, then we, then we do know. And so I think a big part of what Trunk Club does is sort of connect the dots there, which is we, we put great options in front of you. We listen when you tell us what you're looking for, what your budget is, um, and, and your, your style preferences. And then perhaps most importantly, something we do that you can't really do at the mall or online is we adapt and we learn from you. So every time we send you a trunk, say an average first trunk is 10 items, you might only keep three or four items on that first trunk. But we also learn about the, about a lot about your preferences from what you don't keep. And so each time that we have an interaction with you, we're learning more. And what we find is um, the satisfaction rate and the keep rate, or you know, the refund rate, the refund rate goes down and the keep rate goes up, as is the satisfaction with each subsequent trunk, because our stylist is able to learn from you in that process. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge part, it sounds like, of the model. Um, in terms of how the, the business model works, how do you guys end up making money off of this? So it's a great question. It, we, we buy just like a retailer would. So we buy at wholesale and sell at retail. So really, that's where the, the gross margin is for Trunk Club. And then you know we're able to save versus a um, conventional retailer in that we don't have you know a, an expensive real estate um, cost of being in a mall or in a prime shopping area and security and hourly employees and all the kind of things that come along with a traditional retail experience. 
Um, and we're able to pass on that savings in the form of commission to our sales reps and then also in terms of just offering a whole bunch of other things to our customers such as free shipping, a really cool box, and 24-7 customer service and an ironclad return policy that basically is um, the same one that we had at Bonobos w when I was working there, which is any any time, any reason, we trust you. And um, you know, building that trust with a customer is a cornerstone of, of sort of what Trunk Club is about. Yeah. So uh, you know, I should have mentioned though, you are um, one of the co-founders of Bonobos, another um, e-commerce site for men's clothing. Um, where do you sort of see generally the trend going with e-commerce? Um, is it sort of bringing an offline experience to, um, you know, the online experience and, and making things easier? Is it more than just being able to, to have like an Amazon marketplace like experience? Uh, where do you see the market going in the future? So it's a great question. And one we spent a lot of time thinking about at Trunk Club headquarters in Chicago. I, I, so I think what you first saw was, you know, e-commerce period, just people being able to take what they would sort of do via a catalog or a conventional retail and offer that online. And then you saw more marketplace options such as like an eBay or you know auction sites. More recently in the last several years, we've seen specialty niche retailers such as a Bonobos um, that are only available online and that are really focused pretty much everything that Bonobos does and does so well, they do via the internet. And, and so I think you're going to continue to see the emergence of very high quality niche retailers um, that, that customers, you know, that sort of develop a cult following and use things like uh, Twitter and Skype and other, you know, technology sort of Web 2.0 kind of um, add-ins to, to provide a great service to their customers. And then in the, in the last couple of years, you've also seen flash sales and, um, you know, sites like Gilt, Rulala, Hotlook. And I think the next phase and the phase that we're principally engaged in is what we call assisted commerce. So it's the notion of having all of the um, advantages of technology at your fingertips and being able to use the internet to find customers and to show your customers what you're about, but at the same time having a, a, a human go sort of that last mile with customer service. So the fact that at Trunk Club you can email us or call us 24-7, you're mapped to an individual who is an empathetic, college-educated, you know, really helpful person, gives us a totally different flavor than, say, going on to you know, xyzretailer.com and buying a pair of pants or a shirt and really not knowing exactly what to expect um, in terms of customer service or the whole process. So I think you're going to see a continued uh, move toward more hands-on, really thoughtful customer service, and you know assi the assisted aspect of it is something that I think people really like. You know, getting back to the notion of a really helpful, thoughtful person on the other end of the phone. You know, never having to call and wait on hold. Those kinds of things I think are increasingly important today. Today to to consumers. Yeah, and 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 touching upon that. Um, I know you guys are launching today a new sort of customer support angle to your website. Could you explain, um, you know, what you're launching and, and how that's going to help some of your customers? Sure. So um, we're today we're launching the customer center at trunkclub.com, which is the first time that we'll have um, a place on our website where customers can log in to manage their account, to um, engage with their stylist, and to do a host of other things. It's basically our first salvo into the world of like very high touch technology, um, like call it a portal, where we can really do a lot more for the customer um, asynchronously. So far, we do a ton over the phone and over email, but we, we also want the customer to be able to engage with us and to reach out to us. And so opening up some more functionality on our website and beginning the process of really building out what we hope will become you know a virtual closet, um, a place where we can um, push a lot of information about the clothing that our customers are buying from us to them. You know, at, you, you bought this shirt from us three months ago. Um, it just turns out, you know, it turns out we got some new pants in today that match that shirt really well, and we wanted you to know about that. There was sort of, it's a place for us to engage with our customer online, um, where they can kind of choose how much they'd like to um, to do with us. But it's it's really opening up yet another avenue for us to provide that customer service, that um, style support, and in general, hopefully push meaningful content to our customers um, online. How have, uh, I'm curious, how have brands responded to your model? You know, I know you guys have a, a number of brands that you 
um, offer to men. Uh, you know, have you gotten a sense of, of how they feel about uh, what you're offering? Yeah, it's been really interesting, Lena. Um, over the 18 months um, since we launched Trunk Club in Chicago, um, we've been to, I guess, sort of this is our fourth trade show season that we're just entering. And it's, it's amazing how much the brands have um, begun to really embrace what we're doing. Uh, when we first started, I think it was uh, okay. You're you're the you're like the bonobos guy, or you know you're one of the guys that helped with this pants company. How, you know what's the story with Trunk Club and how does it work and is it an e-commerce business? We're not really sure. Since then, I think they've seen us grow really rapidly and they've begun to see that we introduce their brands to a very hard to find yet very sought after consumer, which mm -hmm. is you know an affluent urban guy who has a lot of money and not a lot of time and wants to learn more about fashion but doesn't really know how to do that. So in a way we kind of think of ourselves as an advertising arms for, for some of our best brands and you know folks like John Varvatos and Jack Spade and Jeremy Argyle and Eaton Shirts, you know Eaton's a great example of someone that we, it's a brand that we opened six months ago. Um, our orders with them for fall will be you know five times the size of the orders that we initially placed with them. They're really excited about what we've been able to do to grow their presence in the United States as they've, you know, they're a Swedish brand with a big focus in Europe and they're just making a big push into America. And I think they see us as a really helpful partner for educating guys on why they make such a great shirt and why our guys should want that shirt. In fact, I'm wearing one today. And, um, I, you know, they have embraced us. Eaton has been an amazing partner for us. Jeremy Argyle, another uh, boutique shirt maker in New York, I think is the same way. And these are brands where we're really excited about them because they're not available in the big department stores and they're not available at, you know, at every boutique in America. They're more of a, a special or a new, you know, a new, newly discovered brand for our guys. And so it's a nice partnership. It's a symbiotic relationship that we can offer the vendor. Um, a few folks have been a little bit reticent to work with us. But um, I think that's primarily because they're just a little bit slower to move in general um, in terms of opening new retail accounts. And right. over time, we've basically found that persistence pays off and most folks have um, been really glad that they did open an account with us over time and, and, and are continuing to do you know, very brisk business with us as a result. Yeah, well, I know that you said that you're, uh, you're growing um, at five times what you were last year, and uh, that's just great for the company. I know you're also um, announcing some funding today. Uh, would you like to share some of the details on that? Yeah, so um, we're really excited to announce that um, we just uh, closed a Series A financing with USVP and Graycroft leading the round, as well as um, our current investors, Anthos Capital, from, um, from uh, Menlo Park and also Apex Ventures, a smaller VC firm in Chicago is gonna participate. So we've got a great group of, of new investors and our, our current investors, Anthos, uh, stepped up for this round as well and showed us a lot of support. We're excited to announce that the total funding is $11 million and it's, it's really just growth capital to, um, to advance the, the, the company in, in all directions. So um, more inventory, better marketing and advertising, uh, continued emphasis on the technology build out. We've been adding to our development team and really excited about the engineering talent that we now have on hand on the team in Chicago. And as well, you know, it's just, it's just really a great uh, stamp of approval from the Valley. And um, folks have, have recognized that uh, we have a really valuable customer and a long-term value proposition to that customer that they're um, really excited about supporting. So this is a great, uh, a great day for Trunk Club and I think a really nice uh, validation of what we're trying to build here. Well, I'm, I really just hope that you extend the service to women soon because I would totally use this. So. Well, Lena, we get, we get a ton of requests for <laughs> Trunk Club for Women. And I, I, I have to be honest, it's something we're thinking about. But right now, we still have so many guys that we can serve that we're really just focused on that for the moment. But um, we, we hear you. We, we hope that one day we'll be able to offer you this same great service as well. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Brian. I appreciate your time and uh, keep us updated on how Trunk Club's doing. Will do. Thanks for having me.